prayers remain with all of those families. New details in the story of a woman who says she was beaten, held hostage, and tied up inside of her own home for two weeks. Tulsa police say that's what this man, Justin Myers, did to his girlfriend. He's now in jail, facing several charges. Fox 23's J.J. Burton found out that Myers has a long history of domestic violence. According to the Department of Corrections website, this is it right here. See it for yourself. He was convicted back in 2014 for assault and battery with a dangerous weapon and in 2015 for domestic assault and battery. These happened in Edmond. He was ordered to take domestic violence classes and put on probation. Now Myers is back behind bars for allegedly holding his ex-girlfriend hostage, beating her and tying her to him and cheers so she wouldn't get away. In her own home. The police say the woman was staying at a shelter to hide from Myers. She went home on July 3rd because she believed Myers was in jail. When she got there, she says he was there waiting for her. Investigators say Myers locked the woman in her house for two weeks from July 3rd until the 17th. It was a bad situation. Officers say the woman made a smart move that saved her life. She comes up with this uh, idea that, it, you know, if they go to this church, they can get their water pay, paid, and he believes that. They came out here to the church at Battle Creek near Aspen in the BA Expressway. When they walked in, police say that she handed the clerk a note asking for help. Dean Johnson is the operations manager at the church. He says things seemed fine until they got her alone. Once we got her back, she did ask that we call the police. We finally figured out that, okay, I think that she's in trouble. And by the time TPD made it to the church, Myers was gone. Investigators say he went back to the house. They say he tried to run when they showed up, but he didn't get far. Myers is at the Tulsa County Jail. He's being held on a more than $50,000 bond. He's facing several charges, including kidnapping, reporting in Broken Arrow, covering news that matters. J.J. Burton, Fox 23 News. The victim was taken to the hospital for her injuries. Police say she is expected to be okay.